up for sale from Red Vale RV via a one dollar reserve auction is this freshly traded 2004 Avondale Bianco 54 for birth. This caravan is up for sale via the one dollar reserve auction as it requires some TLC. I'm going to go over that with you to make sure everybody bidding at home knows exactly the caravan they're getting. This caravan is a great size, it's 7 metres end to end and it weighs just over 1100 kilos so it's, it's nice and easy for most vehicles to tow. It's been in New Zealand for about 12 years. As such, it's fully self-contained with both fresh water and black water tanks. It's got a new warrant of fitness and registration. It's got a current electrical WAF to later this year. It comes with two LPG bottles and a deep cycle battery. The condition of the deep cycle battery is average. It has an onboard water pump. All right, so we're gonna start with the outside of the caravan. I'm gonna go around it and I'm gonna point out any marks or imperfections. So starting at the front end here, the windows are in good order. It's all straight, there's a couple of pin dents up the top. There are some minor um, cracks in the plastic along the front here. That is just cosmetic, it's not structural. And um, there's some more down here on this corner here. In the front plastic balance it does have its own braking system and it is fitted with the Alco uh, anti, um, anti sway technology. We're going to go around to this side here. There are some stickers up there that have come off. The uh, sign, or the pinstripes are badly faded. Paintwork does require a buff. Things like this little plastic balance here is loose. But it is pretty straight, uh, very, only very minor pin dents on it. Tyres are in good condition. The chassis is in good order as well. Just gonna zoom the camera out. Come around to the back side of the caravan. It is fitted with a double bike rack. Once again, the pinstriping is faded at the rear here from our sun. This rear window here, it is double glazed, but it's got condensation inside it. Round to this side here. Once again, the sign writing is faded and the paintwork could do with a buff. A couple of marks on this side as well, um, such as up here where the awning has been rubbing. Had a very average reseal along there. A little bit of messy silicon along that track up there. But this camp has got tons of accessories. We've got a grey water tank, our fresh water tank. It's got a good size awning here as well. We don't put the awnings up here at Red Vale Arva, so think of it as a freebie. However, the previous owner did use that awning over New Year's and says it's all there. There is a couple of uh, parts that are damaged but it's all working. The plastic bins, we've got an LPG locker here. The plastic bins do have fading on them. Um, you can see the pinstriping is faded. Now we head on into the inside. It's very important that you watch the entire video as there has been water ingress in this caravan, which I'm gonna go over once we've gone through the layout. Front lounge can be used as either two single beds or this entire area becomes a giant double bed and you actually sleep that way, sleep that way across the camper. Upholstery is just a little bit sun faded but all in good order. Cabinetry is all there. Uh, we've got the uh, lino floors fitted throughout. Good size kitchen. Four burner gas hob, that's all working nicely. Coming along to our fridge, we've just done a, a basic report on it. See Kiwi PowerPoints fitted throughout. 
three-way fridge. We've ordered a new knob for that side. The knob's missing. The fridge has got everything it needs. Uh, it runs on LPG and uh, mains power, and it runs very good. We've tested both of those. Now, it does have an onboard hot water cylinder, which is about a 15 litre one and up under that seat. It does not work on mains power. However, it fires up on the LPG. It's got a radio there up in that corner. The radio is not very securely mounted as we see here. It's a wee bit loose, but it works. We've got little map lights around here. Each window has a blackout blind and a fly screen. Please note uh, that this caravan is a 2004 and many of the fly screens will be like this. All right, and behind here we've got a storage. We've got an LPG and an electric room heater, which is all working into the bathroom here. It is a joint shower toilet. And the water system is all working well. Now this has only had a very basic room. And we're into the rear bedroom. Now it is a double bed. There are windows there. And there's storage underneath that bed there. Right, now we've done that, we're gonna go through the issues that the caravan has. This caravan has had water leaking into it. I'm gonna start with where I believe the water is coming in. It requires a reseal for sure. So along this track here, I believe water is getting in and it has caused a soft wall and rot inside there. Which I'm going to show you the inside. I also believe water will be coming in the seal around this window here and that seal around the window there. I'm going to go in and I'll show you now. All right. So below this window here, we have bubbling in the wallpaper. Okay. And that is a sign of water getting in. Um, this wall is still solid, but it does get softer around here. It is still solid to touch, but I definitely suggest replacing that wallboard or resealing it. Now in this top corner here, this is where we're, it's not looking happy, okay? So because water's got in here and um, it will be causing, so I'm trying to get to focus, rot in that corner there. So you'd want to remove this shelf here and this wallboard, and it's actually gone in down here. So I'll just try and zoom the camera out. Move this curtain out the way. It's affected down here. This has got soft, the wallboard has got soft. All right, so you'd want to, um, the caravan is completely usable as it is, but there's water getting in there somehow. It is actually dry to touch, so it would have just been slowly seeping in. And I've just checked both sides. Uh, no, the other side is getting only getting a little bit down in this corner here. All right, so that's the front. So you'd want to do a reseal of the front and replace the wallboards around the window there. Although it is very usable as it is. Now we're going to go around to the rear. We've had once again below this window, we have spotting on the wallpaper which generally means at some stage water has got in there okay so my suggestion would be a reseal layer and a fresh wallboard if you so wanted this caravan is for sale as is where is there is no warranties given or implied As with all dollar reserve auctions, we suggest you come view it in person. I've done my best to go over it to make sure everyone gets a very honest overview of the caravan. 
we are open Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 3.30. You can give us a call on the phone number listed and arrange a time to come view. Thank you so much for watching.